All right, I thought we'd do a little bit of fishing. So we're out here on Fishing Planet and we're gonna be fishing in Colorado for some rainbow trout. This is the first time we've ever done this. So I'm looking forward to seeing how we do. All right, so we're gonna have three different rods with baits out and then we're also gonna have another rod with a casting lure on. We're gonna have two rods with salmon eggs and we'll have one with mayflies. Trout love mayflies. So I'm looking forward to seeing how good this is gonna work. And we're gonna have slot one with the map spinner, which is kind of gonna resemble a mayfly just uh, swimming through the water. All right, so here we go. This is a really pretty map. Colorado is absolutely stunning. That's one of the places where I would, oh, whoa, 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 fish on, fish on, fish on. Definitely just accidentally almost lost that fish. But luckily, we still got him. What did we catch? First fish is in, and it's a rainbow trout, 16 incher, 130 cash. All right, well, let's give her a cast back out there. So that seemed to work pretty nice. You know what I want to do though is I want to actually make it go a little bit deeper for potentially some of the big ones. At least we know there's definitely rainbow trout out here and they are definitely interested in this bait. Whoa, whoa, whoa another fish on. All right, fish on. Holy, this rod might be a little bit big for these fish. Young cutthroat trout, there we go. New personal best. Yeah, I'm kind of curious if we casted out the right rod on the left side, if we wouldn't happen to get some fish. I mean, it seems like the left side is definitely way more hot than the right side, but you just never know sometimes. All right, let's give this a try. We adjusted the leader to 52 inches. Oh my God, we're getting a hit. We're getting a hit. Fish on. We got a fish on. Our first fish way the heck out there. We got a fish on. This is pretty cool. It's a long ways out there as well. Ooh, this is a fighter. Ooh, this is a fighter. Wow. I'm gonna have to turn the drag down on this one. Holy, look at this fish. He is pulling. I'm gonna say it's probably gonna be, oh, we might be able to double up here, guys. We're gonna get two fish here. If I can get this fish in just in a second. I don't wanna lose this one because it's a nice fish. Let's get him in. Can we get him in? We got him in. What is it gonna be? Oh, a new personal best cutthroat trout. We're gonna keep him and we're gonna try and get this other rod. Did we get him? Yes, we did. We doubled up, baby. There we go, another fish on. So that wasn't exactly a lake trout, but this guy here is, I do believe. Well, it might be another cut trout. Let's find out what it is. Yeah, it's gonna be another cut one. Whoa, what in the heck is that? What in the heck did we just catch? A trophy Colorado golden trout. I've never seen one of those before. I didn't even know they were here. That's pretty incredible. That is what I was trying to do and get a really good look at this fish. All right, let's keep them. That was super, super cool. We doubled up. All right, let's get it back out there. So I think what was important is the fact that we changed our leader leg to 52 inches and then cast it out there really far. I think both of those had a big factor on how we caught that last fish. So let's get him back out there and catch some more. So I'm thinking maybe we should try a different spinner because this one is not working. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. fish on, fish on. We're gonna have to hold that thought for next time, guys, because we got a nice fish on here. A nice fish. What? 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 It got off? Oh man, it got off. Well, can't get them all, I guess. Another fish on! Another fish on! Get him, get him, get him, get him! Oh, we got this guy on this time. We definitely got this fish on. It's a long ways out there as well. Look how far out we casted there. Oh, I see what's going on here. If we don't keep our tension up, 
we could easily lose this fish. But I don't want to like set the hook too hard because then we jerk him out of the water. See that? So I'm trying not to do that. But I guess that's what you got to do. There we go. New personal best cutthroat trout. There we go. Big old trout. Awesome. And yes, we'll keep them for 126 cash. So I know my rods are a little bit large and that cast wasn't... Eh, it wasn't that bad, I suppose. I was going to say it wasn't perfect, but it wasn't that bad. Um, so that's why I'm trying to reel a little bit slower and keep the drag, you know, like lower than typical. Because that way the fish can actually fight a little bit. Other than just like yanking them in and then, you know, it's not that fun when you do that, but... Oh, we'll see what happens. Give her a cast out there and we got a fish on. We got a fish on. Wrong button. Wrong button. Come on. Three. Yes. We got him. All right. Whoa, doubling up. Doubling up. Another fish on. Holy. This fish is coming in fast. Let's get him in. Can we double up? Another golden trout. We're going for two. We're going for two. We doubled up. Another nice trout. Wow, this is just a little bit overpowered, I guess you could say, but a young cutthroat trout. I'm really hoping to get a big Colorado rainbow trout. That's what I'm hoping for out here. We know they're here. We got one in the very beginning, but I'm hoping to get a trophy. We did get a trophy golden, which was awesome. Whoa, what in the heck was that? <laughs> Let's try that again. There we go. Perfect cast. All right. Well, I suppose we'll try and reel this back in. See if we get anything. I'm honestly super surprised that nothing's taken this. All right, we got another one on here. Oh, that's way out there. Fish on. Another golden trout, looks like. Yep, another Colorado golden trout. Cool looking trout, 13 incher, not bad. I just picked up this rod and a fish is taking it. Check this out. Oh, got him. <laughs> that was pretty cool. He just started taking it and we already caught him. Young cutthroat trout. All right, let's get it way out there. There we go. It's so difficult to cast this thing far. There we go. Whoa, fish on, fish on. Oh, that's a nice fish. That is a nice fish. I mean, it's a good size one, but it's definitely not as big as I thought it was going to be. All right, let's try and go deeper. We got to find these big rainbows somewhere. In fact, how long has it been since we actually caught a rainbow? Whoa! There we go. We got ourselves a rainbow. Finally, 12 incher. First rainbow in a long time. What a pretty fish. Rainbow trout are absolutely delicious. We used to catch a lot of them when I was little. We would uh, use a slip bobber and a little minnow. We would set our leader for probably about 10 or 15 feet deep. So that's how far down our bobber is. Like right now we have it set at what, 60 inches, which would be roughly two feet. But I'm talking like 
15 feet. Which one's getting a bite? I honestly don't even know which one's getting a bite. I think three. Right? No. I was wrong. Huh. That's a good one. That's a good fish. We're actually getting two at once. We're getting another fish as well. There's another nice golden Colorado trout there. Come on, get it. Get the rod. We got him. Ooh. This is a good fish. This is a real good fish. Should be a rainbow. Probably going to be another golden though. Is it a golden? Yep. Another golden 14 incher. So another really good fish. Such a gorgeous fish. Look at that. It's so cool that we actually got a trophy as well. I don't even remember like how big it was because uh, it was in the very beginning and we're, <laughs> we've had a lot of action since then, but um, you know what? I think we're actually going to move to the other side. So we're going to pick up our rod holder here and then we'll go over to the other side. We're getting a hit. Oh, double, double. Dude, I've never seen that. I've never seen two of them go down at the same exact time. All right, luckily we got this one here. This fish is pulling pretty good. I don't know if we're going to be able to get both of these, but we're going to try. We'll try hard, depending on how big this one is. Oh, that's a nice one. Can we pull it off? If I would have hit the right rod, we could have. I think we still got it. Oh my God, we did it. Somehow it's a miracle, but somehow we we're able to pull that off and we got both of those fish. A young cutthroat trout, 11 incher. So the one that we caught before that was definitely way bigger, but we're still not really getting these rainbows like I want. Come on, big rainbow. I really want to get a trophy rainbow. That would be just absolutely epic. All right, what do we got here now? Big cutthroat, 17 incher. Holy new personal best. That's a giant stunning looking trout as well. It kind of looks like a rainbow. You know, I think I'm actually going to put that spinner back on this. Not that it was working amazing, but at least it worked somewhat decent. And I feel like we have a way better chance at catching a rainbow trout on a rainbow spinner than that spoon that we were casting out there, which clearly was not doing absolutely anything. But typically, if you cast out there a long ways and you count to about 10 seconds, let that spinner hit all the way down to about six inches from the bottom and then start cranking. Typically, you can get some big trout to just pound it down there. But for some reason, these trout are very finicky today with these spinners. It seems like they're only really going for live bait right now. Holy, finally, something happened here. And that was a long, 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 long wait. But finally, we got a fish on. And it looks to be another one of those golden ones. Yep, Colorado Golden Trout, 14 incher, so another solid trout. You gotta love how realistic it is that you just yank the fish right out of the water, don't you? It literally starts reeling and next thing you know, it's yanking it right out of the water. I just love that. Especially me, like, you know, you can imagine how, I guess particular I am about making a game feel realistic. And then you got these fish like flying out of the water because you're reeling so fast. And there's nothing you can do about it. Like, I can't make that any more realistic than what it is. Except for if I got a smaller rod, yes, I could. But here's the thing. I have an ultralight rod, which would have been perfect. But it won't let me use it. Because this game is so picky about what rod you use for what uh, reel and what bait that it won't let you use it. <laughs> I feel like we were doing way better at the other location. So I'm going to reel all these in and go back to that original spot that we were at in the beginning. Holy, we just got to the other side here and we already have a hit. I literally barely casted the rod out there. That goes to show you that this side might be quite a bit better than the other side over there. Wow, I couldn't even believe how fast that fish actually hit. 
And another one. Another fish is hitting right now. Nice golden. Come on. All right, another fish on. Can't tell if this is a golden or a cutthroat. Cutthroat, I believe. Yep, it's a cutthroat. Not a bad size one, 11 incher. Not too big, but not tiny either. And especially the fact that we took so long to get our first bite over here, or I guess I should say at the other spot, that we came to this spot here and almost instantly we already had a hit. Two hits. Another hit. Another fish on. There we go, finally a rainbow trout here. Young rainbow trout, 12.5 incher. Supposedly the rainbows are supposed to like these mayflies, but for some reason, they are not hitting it. I don't know. Whoa, did I just cast it out there and we're getting our first fish on a mayfly? Yes, we are. That's our mayfly, we're getting a hit. We got a fish on. What do we get, cutthroat? Yep. Cutthroat, 10 incher, not a small one. Kind of a small one though. Let's cast back out there. Hey, at least we did get our first fish on a mayfly. All right, we're getting a hit. Which rod is it, middle rod? All right, fish on. Oh, that helped a lot. So I just casted the uh, in rod or the inner rod to the outside there and we're already getting another hit. All right, let's get this fish in so we can try and catch the other fish as well. Another cutthroat. Come on, fish on as well. Ooh, 14 inch golden cutthroat. Well guys, I think that's gonna pretty much wrap up this video. We've been fishing for a good hour and a half now and we've gotten quite a few fish here. Well, we're getting another one right now. I guess this will be the last fish here, but we've gotten quite a few fish. We only do have one tro- Oh my God, hold up. Another fish is hitting. All I had to do is say I'm gonna end the video and fish just start pounding it, huh? I see how it goes. All right, let's get this fish in here. There we go, 15 inch rainbow. That's our biggest rainbow so far. Beautiful fish. All right, let's see what we got for slot one here. Ooh. Ooh, I think we got another big rainbow. Are we finally getting the rainbow? Yes, we are. Another 15 inch rainbow. Wow. Finally. That's a nice fish. My biggest rainbow I've ever caught in was 21 inches. So 15 inches is pretty nice. A very, very nice fish. And there he is right there. Our trophy Colorado golden trout, 17.35 inches. What a beautiful fish. Let's take a look at this giant that we caught today. Look at the size of that Trophy Colorado Golden Trout. What an incredible species. And that's gonna be it. That's gonna wrap up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. And we'll see you next time.